Trading for free, zero dollar trades. In this video, we are going to discuss how E-Trade, TD Ameritrade, and Schwab have now fired the first and probably the final shots regarding free trading. So I think it was two days ago, around October 1st of 2019, Schwab came out and said that they were cutting all of their ticker prices and their commissions to zero dollars. Options were then going to be 65%. TD Ameritrade then followed and said that they were going to follow and match the terms of Schwab. And then I believe today, which I think is October 3rd, uh, E-Trade mentioned that around starting October 7th, they were also going to reduce all of their commissions to zero dollars. Now, this is significant primarily because I think that it's a good strategic move for Schwab because I think Schwab generates around 8% of its total revenue from commissions and E-Trade and, and TD Ameritrade generate substantially more. So this is going to be a shifting business model. It's fantastic for the retail trader, and this actually is going to be much more valuable. And, it's, it, and for many people, I think it's going to introduce trading and, re, and remove one of the hurdles from trading. Because remember, if you're thinking about investing in real estate, which has a tremendous amount of fees, now you can essentially trade options for free. Like why would you ever give up the liquidity and the no transaction fees that are involved in options trading and you can make anywhere from like 30 to 50 percent a year whereas with real estate you're going to have to pay a substantial amount of taxes there are a lot of transaction fees there's uncertainty there are taxes and repairs and maintenance and potentially bad tenants etc but i think that this is great for trading because it's going to remove one of the hurdles now trading was already extremely cheap personally i was able to negotiate with e-trade 395 Per trade plus 10 cents per contract so i'm wondering if i'm only going to pay 10 cents a contract that would be amazing that would be pretty much like trading for free now i know the e-trade is offering 65 cents per contract but i'm wondering if they're just going to reduce the 395 that i was paying and only charge me 10 cents a contract which would be fantastic that would probably end up saving me i don't know maybe like 500 dollars a year it's not really that much because I make less trades now than I did a few years ago. I remember a few years ago, I spent around $1,000 or $1,200 on commissions, um, but now I spend a lot more because I only make around one or two trades a week. But in any case, I just wanna tell you that for Schwab, E-Trade, and Schwab, E-Trade, and TD Ameritrade, commissions as of, I believe, October 7th are going to be cut to zero. Options. Commissions are still gonna be around 65 cents a contract, even though for E-Trade, I only spend, I only pay 10 cents a contract. I think eventually they're going to be for free. You should always negotiate with your brokerage before signing up, or even right now, you should call your brokerage or you can chat with them and try to negotiate a better deal to reduce and get the, the commissions to zero if they're not already zeroed out, and also to get your per contract uh, charges as close to zero as possible. And again, I think this is gonna be fantastic. Um, now, there are gonna be other ways that the brokerages are going to make money. They are going to lay people off to uh, compensate for the reduced revenue that they're bringing in, but there are going to be other ways. Like for example, what they can do is they can increase the fees that they charge you. So it would be like data fees, or if you cancel your account, and you have like a transfer out, instead of charging you like $0, they can charge you like $100. There are other things that they can do which are kind of sneaky. So instead of paying you like 2% interest on your cash balance, they can not pay you anything of your cash balance. And as a result, they can keep that incremental 2%. Now these are things that investors and traders don't really take into account, but over the long term, when these brokerages have billions of dollars and in some cases tens of billions and sometimes like fidelity or vanguard like trillions of dollars of money in their disposal earning an incremental two percent of money on their or you know one percent of money one percent cash return on all of their assets is a huge deal so always make sure that your brokerage pays you interest on your cash balance they can also increase the amount of fees that they charge for margin interest. So instead of spending, instead of charging like 15%, they can charge you like 30%. They can also um, get paid for order flow. So they can get paid for diverting more money to the market makers than, you know, to one particular market maker as opposed to another. So there are a lot of things that they can do in order to compensate. Do I think that they're going to be able to compensate for the full loss of the revenue? No, but I do think that as an educated consumer, 
you have to look at all the fees. You have to make sure that the fees are not going to eat you up and they're not going to eat into your returns. And I definitely think that, that the brokerages are going to increase the fees. Make sure that they're paying you money and interest on your cash balance. But overall, this is an incredible sign and you should be able to negotiate with your brokerages to get the rates further, to decrease the rates further from 65 cents a contract. Again, I pay 10 cents, I have a large account, but at the same time, you should be able to negotiate around, You know, even if you don't have a large account, you should be able to negotiate around 20 cents per contract with no commissions. So this is a great day for trading. You'll be able to, to save more money. I think this is also going to encourage more people to be active, and it's going to encourage more people to trade options. Um, for stocks, it really doesn't matter because no one, I mean, trading stocks, there's no strategy involved. Um, you're not really taking control and you're not being active and you're not being aggressive in taking a control over your portfolio by buying and hold something. I mean, at least buy something and then sell some cover calls against it. But there's virtually no situations where you're better off owning stock as opposed to selling a put. I guess the only situation would be a situation similar to like January of 2018 where the market pretty much went up like every single day or also January of 2019 where the market was up tremendously in that situation because when you sell a put you're only limited to keeping 100% of the premium that you receive it would be better to actually own the stock but let me just tell you that 99% of the time you are better off selling puts as opposed to actually owning the stock it is more capital efficient it's safer you have a safety net you're able to mitigate the risk you're able to manage the position better and it's overall it's going to yield to much larger returns so this is a great day this is a great month for options trading that options trading essentially is free now and um, i think it's fantastic please like this video it helps the youtube algorithm and leave a comment below i respond to everyone you can go to beststockstrategy.com enter in your email address and receive over 400 dollars worth of free training materials and um, thank you very much for watching this video and I appreciate your attention.